Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and it looks like we've got a problem so, so typical of the GED. Word problem here combined with a chart or graph to pull our information off of. Uh, this is how they operate. So let's take a look. It says the table gives information about the Yavapai County swim team. And just to let you know, I did just completely make this up. I don't even know if there is a Yavapai County swim team. But on average, how many students participate in each division? So they've asked us here, on average, so we're finding an average, how many students participate in each division? So it looks like we're finding the average, also known as the mean, of students per division. It could have been students, could have been. I, I'm regretting my word choice to say students. Maybe I should have said how many swimmers participate in each division. That probably would have been clearer. If you take a look at our um, chart here, I see Yavapai County swim team and I see a lot of information, but here's one thing. Notice that my table is broken into divisions. So it looks like I have three divisions, the children, the juniors, and the teens. So I want to know on average how many swimmers participate in each one of those div divisions. Now taking a look, um, I can see numbers of swimmers is one of my column. So I've got 17 in the children. 15 in the junior league, and 28 in the teen league, and I want to find an average of those three numbers. Well, I hope you know to find an average or a mean, the first thing you do is total. Some teachers say sum. I don't sum because summing is not the, I don't say sum because summing is not the only way to find a total, but we'll find a total here. In this case, it will be by adding, and then we'll divide by um the number of items in our data set, in this case, the number of divisions. We've got three different divisions, so we're going to divide uh, by three. Okay, so a really important thing to know if you're doing this in your um, TI-30XS, it's important um, to make sure the calculator performs the per correct order of operations. Um, I would just do one operation at a time because usually your calculator will try to divide before it adds and we need to add before we divide. So I would put 17 plus 15 plus 28 in my calculator or do it as side work. I'll do it as side work since I don't have a my calculator handy. Let's see. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 60. I get a total of 60. Make sure you press that enter to get that total before you do the final step, which is to divide by the number of items in our data set, which in this case is 3. So 60 divided by 3 does give me 20. So on average, how many students participate in each division? About 20 students or 20 swimmers per division. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.